Hi, everybody. I'm Marv Albert, along with Matt Gukas and uh, Bill Walton. Now, the big story here tonight, the story concerning Michael Jordan's physical conditions. This Jordan arriving about two hours ago. He is suffering from flu-like symptoms. Made his way onto the court just moments ago, and as you see right here, looking a bit shaky. He was up all last night, spent all day in bed, did not eat at all, did not uh, go to the shoot-around earlier today, did not practice, so uh, his status is uncertain. At 3.30 this morning, Michael Jordan woke up with flu-like symptoms. He had a stomach ache and a headache, and he couldn't go back to sleep. He threw up all night, and as reported earlier, he missed the shoot-around, but he was in bed all day and continued to throw up. He got in here early. When I went to talk to him back in the back room, he was in a dark room trying to get some rest, but but still throwing up. And Marv, I talked to him. I said, how do you feel? He said, I really feel horrible. But his history in games where he's either been hurt or sick has been bad news for the opponent. And as you can see, he's ready to go tonight. And Jordan trying to slip it. And then took it back and hit. So Michael Jordan, despite visibly shaken by the flu symptoms, Connecting from the corner to tie the game at two. And Michael Jordan able to line drive it home for his second field goal. Uh, Michael Jordan coming into this game five, clearly under the weather, but still out there giving an effort, getting high in the air as he goes to the baseline for the jumper. Then comes up short on this as the leg showing a little effect. Never got a good look at the basket there. And this time coming off under control, getting high in the air once again as Michael trying to find his offense. Jordan being played by Russell. Hopper for three. Yes. Ron Hopper from downtown. It's the Jazz 9 and the Bulls 7. Chicago just 5 for 15. Michael Jordan is back, putting the move on Chris Mars. So Jordan has six points, three of six from the field. A first quarter that saw at one stretch Utah go on a 14-1 run. Now Kukoc posting up. Jordan off the fake. Count would have. He'll go to the line for two. Terrible pass. Well, John Stockton with a rare mistake. Michael Jordan draws the foul. Hold a sec. Back to back horrible turnovers for Utah. And Jordan puts moves on Hornacek. So the Jazz now leading 36 24. Yeah, Jordan finding Longley. And the Jazz now leading by just nine. Jordan to the crossover. Yes. Not bad for a guy playing with the <laughs> flu symptoms. But give Utah some credit. They forced him left every single time. Jordan's going to score 30 or 40 points. There's no question about that. And the steal by Jordan. Putting behind the back on Russell. He turned it around and fed it to Pippen. And home by Jordan. What a play by Michael Jordan. Well, Chicago is in that mode now. Any mistake made by Utah. Long rebound. Steal. They are getting out and flying. Shot clock is five. Russell lost it. Oster tag was great. Carl Malone's got the three fouls. Has to play very smart here. Nice pass. Jordan to the cutting Longley. And the Utah lead is down to two. Oh, the best job by Luke Longley. All series low of moving without the ball. Chicago down by two. Jordan got the step. Jordan has tied the game at 63. It is 2-2 right now. In this game number five, as Michael Jordan cuts it to a five-point Jazz lead. Jordan, yes, the Jazz 77 and the Bulls 71. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan pops it down to Kuko. Kuko for three. Yes. Bars pass broken up. And Pippen able to come up with it on the deflection. Jordan fires for three. Yes. And he's tied the game at 77. The exchange between Pippen and Jordan. Once, twice, right back. You do it, big guy. Pump fake, freezes the defense, the jumper, net. Then he staggers back to the bench, near exhaustion, ready to fall over. He put the ice bag on his neck. He won't even take the Gatorade. He doesn't want to waste any energy. No high fives, no lifting water to his mouth. He is exhausted. A heroic performance by Michael Jordan. Russell on 
Jordan. Anderson cheating over. Shot clock at seven. Jordan shooting. Yes. Chicago 79 and Utah 77. It was his burst of speed to get to the position that set it all up. And then he just outweighed Russell facial. Jordan. Yes. But Jazz by one with two minutes and 40 seconds to go. Here's Malone stepping back for the fairway. Bad shot that is handled by Pippen. There was plenty of time on the 24. And Phil Jackson calling for a pick and roll. Obviously, Michael Jordan to be the ball handler. Down to 50 seconds. Here's Longley with the pick. Free throw shooter during the season. And the game is tied at 85. Jordan able to scoop up the loose ball for the possession with 40 seconds remaining. The game tied at 85. Ten on the shot clock. Pippen backing on a set. Here's Jordan. Jordan from straight away. It looks like he's a, a, a boxer just hanging on along the ropes, but able to hit for a three-point Chicago lead. They post up Scotty, and then for no reason, they double team Scotty down low and leaving Michael Jordan. He knocks down this three, gives him the huge lead, and then the total exhaustion on the bench. Michael Jordan sucking air, got the back massage from Scotty Pippen. Two tenths of a second remaining. The inbounds and the Chicago Bulls have defeated the Utah Jazz to take a three games to two lead. They win it 90 to 88. A courageous, classic performance by the flu ridden Michael Jordan.